Hello, welcome to class. We're going to go ahead and get started with our 45 minutes practice today. Coming into a comfortable cross legged position. Maybe bring a blanket or a pillow up underneath the hips. Start to drop in, closing the eyes, inhaling in through the nose, down into the belly. If the first few minutes feel like you need to fidget and move around and adjust, then maybe take a more of a head stretch. Go ahead and do so so that you can settle in for our several minutes of meditation. Remembering that when we're here, there's no right or wrong. There's just observing, being in the moment. Practicing, redirecting. The time of this recording is Monday. So maybe your thoughts are wandering to experiences you had over the weekend. Maybe they were really joyful. Maybe some were not so joyful. See if we can observe them. Be grateful for them. Without attaching ourselves to that experience. You were on with me on Friday. I know that I was struggling a little bit. I was feeling better coming off of the several days of not being with you, but Friday I was back and I was struggling just a bit with my congestion. I apologize. I'm grateful that I'm upright and here with you.
you haven't already, I would encourage you to engage in or participate in a body scan. Maybe starting at the head and working your way down to the toes, or maybe the toes up to the head. Let's be here together for five more breath cycles. Last one. The eyes are closed. You can gently open them if that feels like something you'd like to do. If you want to keep the eyes closed and feel your way through these next movements, then I support that decision as well. Together, we'll have hands on the knees if they're not already, shifting belly button over towards the top of the right thigh. Leaning and bending from the hips, we take the chest out over the right knee, swooping the chest through center over to the left knee, and rounding through the spine, dropping the chin to chest on the back end of your circle until we find ourselves back at the beginning. So big spinal circles here. And when the chest is forward, we're reaching out through the crown, staying rooted down through the tail, the six bones. You get a good rhythm. You can start to sync up the breath with the movement, maybe inhaling at the top of your circle, exhaling on the back end of your circle. And the next time that you are on the back end of your circle, we'll pause and take it in the opposite direction. Back and then your circle, you pause, sitting up nice and tall. The legs are crossed, we're going to uncross them, but keeping the sit bones together, bringing the soles of the feet and the heels together. You can create as much space between the heels and the pelvis as feels right in your body. Hands can come either to the ankles or maybe you interlace fingers around the toes. And we grow nice and tall, reaching down through the tail and up through the crown. Space and length in the spine. Shoulder blades draw together, shoulders drop down away from the ears. On your next exhale, we'll lean from the hips, bringing belly, chest right over the arches of the feet. Gaze comes right in front of the toes like you're looking off a cliff. Shoulder blades stay pulled back.
Exhale, we sit up nice and tall the way that we came. Maybe we walk the feet out just slightly, making more space between the hips and the feet. And again, interlacing around the toes, sitting up nice and tall. Maybe this time we bend at the elbows, bringing the chest a little closer to the feet. One more inhale. Slow exhale. And on the inhale, we'll release the fingers, growing tall, vertebrae over vertebrae in the spine. Arms come up, wide V overhead. We're strong in the legs, pressing the arches and the heels together, rooted down through the six bones. The inhale, growing tall through the spine, and on the exhale, arms drop wide at our sides. And to the outsides of the knee is helping to guide the legs together. We'll heel toe, heel toe, the feet just slightly wider than the hips. Hands can come down behind the glutes, either fingers pointing towards the body or away from the body. We sit up nice and tall, lifting the chest. And on the exhale, we're dropping both knees over to the left. Cool. Exhale through center, over to the right. Exhale through center, over to the left. Over to the right. We'll do one more round through center over to the left. It's going to be natural for the hips to scooch forward a little, so stay mindful of your chest. Heart space stays open. Exhale through center. Exhale, both knees come back up to where we started. You can walk the hands closer to wherever the body has landed. We'll heel toe, heel toe the feet closer together. Left heel drops towards the pelvis, right leg comes out long. Toes up towards the sky. Taking a moment here to pay attention. How does this feel? It's an easy movement today or a difficult one. We're active through both feet, both sets of toes. And on the exhale, we're going to find a hand placement with the right hand. So that may be fingertips or palm on the ground with the arm straight next to the inner knee. Maybe it's the outer knee. Maybe. Fingers are by the ankle and we drop the forearm down by the calf. Taking a moment here to settle in. Bringing an awareness to our support, our foundation, the left side. No dumping or holding weight in the neck. So we're nice and light and open, lifted in the upper body. Inhale, left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. 
We'll pause here and let that shoulder drop into socket. Letting the lower left side settle. And exhale, left fingers reach over towards the right toes. Stay so lifting out of the right shoulder. Big side body stretch on the left. Big inhale. One more. Next inhale, left arm is coming up the way that we came, nice and straight. And at the same time, we press into the right hand, lifting the upper body, left hand drops, right arm rainbows up and over, over to the left. Exhale back the way you came, right arm up and over to drop next to the right leg, left arm up and over. Left arm up and over. Left, right arm up and over this time, right arm is dropping on the outside of the right foot. Left arm is following to the inside of the right leg. Belly button shifts towards the right thigh and drop forehead towards the knee. Breath is staying nice and big down into the belly, noticing how it's interacting with the low back when you do. One more inhale. Exhale, hands strengthen our arms, walk us back up to a seated position. Right knee bends as we send the right sole behind us. Inner thigh, inner knee comes down to the mat with the arch. Inhale, both arms come up overhead. Exhale, right hand to the outside of the left knee. Left hand drops behind us as we find a twist. On the exhale, we drop both hands on the outside of the left leg. Walking the hands away from the body until the forearms and elbows find contact with the mat. Either staying here, letting the crown drop down to the earth, or maybe we crawl a little further. Maybe stacking one hand on top of the other. One more inhale here. When we exhale, gently we lift ourselves out the way that we came. 
and shifting towards center. Left leg stays where it's at, right leg is coming up and over. Right foot to the outside of the left thigh. Let's hook the left elbow around the right knee. Shift your belly button towards the top of the right thigh and look out past the right shoulder. Maybe gently tugging that right knee towards the left shoulder. One more inhale here. When we exhale, we unravel the upper body. We're going to heel toe, heel toe that right foot away from the body until the knees are stacked above each other or as much as feels comfortable. That's not a far deviation from where we just were, that's okay. We can walk the left foot a little further away from the body as well. Hands come right to the feet, right on the arches. Maybe give it a nice foot massage while you're there. Or maybe hands come down to the front of the body, palms on the earth as we drape belly and chest. Over the thighs, dropping knee, nose to knee. Any extreme heat, pinching, pulling, and the groin, we would consider a red flag. And go ahead and back off. Part of building that relationship with your body is knowing what's a red flag and what is just tension that maybe I can breathe through. One more breath here. I know this is intense. Exhale, we gently lift, rolling ourselves back up to a seated position. Go ahead and use your hands to gently support your leg. And we take it to the other side. So left leg comes out long, right heel comes into the pelvis. <clears throat> Taking a moment to settle in here, sitting up nice and tall, noticing how it feels different from the other side. And then we'll find our hand placement on the left, which may look different from the right, and you already know that's okay. We'll settle in here. Maybe right hand comes to the inside of the right knee, giving a little bit of pressure, opening up that hip, or giving physical permission. There we go. Right arm lifts up to the ceiling, letting it drop in. Exhale, right fingertips over to the left toes. Oof. Continuing to breathe down to the belly, noticing how the breath interacts with each movement. Exhale, right fingertips are going out the way they came, right going up towards the ceiling, left arm straightens, right arm drops as left comes up and over. Reaching out towards the right. Exhale, 
Exhale, left arm up and over, dropping down, right arm comes up, fingers towards the left toes. We keep the chest and front body open here. Shoulders stacked over each other, bicep by the ears. Half the way we came, right arm comes up and over. Last one, back up and over. This time, left hand's dropping to the outside of the leg. Right arm is following as we pivot. Belly button towards the top of the left thigh, dropping forehead towards the knee. You can play around with the hand placement here. So of course you can be clasping the ankle, the foot, maybe wrapping right hand around to the outside of the left foot. Next inhale helps you rise back up. We stay firm in the right leg, left leg sends behind us. Arch, inner thigh, and the knee coming down to the mat. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Exhale, left hand to the outside of the right knee. You need a little bit more in the neck, you can always drop the right shoulder, the right ear towards the right shoulder. One more inhale. And on the exhale, both hands, palms flat to the outside of the right thigh. And then we start to walk the hands away from the body until the forearms and elbows find their place on the mat. Next inhale, we use the strength in our arms to walk ourselves back up to a seated position. When we get there, right leg stays firm. We lift left up and over, left foot to the outside of the right thigh. Finding a position here, if this feels right for you, or we hook that right <laughs> elbow around the left knee, finding our twist, belly button to the top of the left thigh. Maybe gentle pull of the left knee to the right shoulder. One more inhale here. Exhale, we unravel the upper body back to center. 
as we heel toe, heel toe the left foot away from the body, and maybe pulling the right away from the glutes until knees are stacked above each other, or as much as feels comfortable for you today. Maybe hands come to the arches. You sit up here nice and tall, breathing down into the hips this way. Or maybe today, if you're a little curious and want to play around, and we drop the hands in front of the body, belly over thighs, nose drops towards the knee. Okay. And then we rise. You use the hands to support your legs coming out. We'll bring knees together, feet are pointing away from us. We drop the palms to the mat and pivot ourselves into a tabletop position. Let's curl the toes against the mat just to sink the hips back slightly. Bring some pressure into the feet. Aiming to reach each pinky down towards the mat, gently swaying the hips side to side. Inhale, we come up to neutral table. You can leave the toes where they are or flip the tops of the feet towards the mat. And gently we'll inhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, open the chest. Exhale, round through. Pressing away from the mat. Drawing the tail towards the belly button. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round through. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round through. Inhale, brings you back to neutral people. Weight shifts into the left foot. We send the right leg out long. And keep the toes curled with the heel heavy if that feels more stable for you. Or maybe you lift the right leg. Maybe next we will reach out through the left arm. Pressing away from the mat and the right fingertips lifting out of that right shoulder. We're creating as much space between the left, right heel and the left fingertips as we can. One more breath. Exhale, we bring it all back to center. Take it to the other side, weight shifts into the right foot. The left leg comes out long, maybe we keep the heel heavy. Put the toes on the ground. And we will reach the right arm out through the front of the mat. Gaze stays straight down, keeping the neck nice and long. One more inhale. Exhale, we bring it all back to center, dropping together, big toes come together, knees as wide as the yoga mat, sinking the hips back, reaching the hands forward as much as you can. Dropping the forehead, extended child pose.
Exhale, press into the tops of the feet. Drawing the knees back underneath the hips. And we keep going, letting the tops of the thighs, pelvis drop down to the mat. Arms straighten. High cobra. Knees are active. Glute is firm. Glutes are firm. We're not squeezing them for stability. Chest is lifted. One more inhale. Exhale, lower halfway. Exhale, lower all the way. Forehead kisses. Toes curl. Inhale, we press up to tabletop. Exhale, hips come up high for our first downward facing dog. Rise up, arch the toes, and then maybe let the heels grow heavy. Belly drops to the top, the tops of the thighs, creating space in the low back. Inhale, we start to tuck the tail towards the belly button like we do in cat. Then we we'll roll the upper body forward until shoulders are above the wrists and we find ourselves in plank. We're here for two breath cycles. One more inhale. And on the exhale, we're dropping both heels over towards the left. And maybe if it feels right, we lift the right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale with control, we pivot back to our plank. Here for one breath cycle. Exhale, both heels over to the right, and if it feels right, left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. We're lifting the hips, strong the legs and the feet, pressing away from the mat and right arm. Exhale with control, back to our plank. We drop the knees, arches together, knees together, sinking the hips back onto the heels. Let's bring the hands together, palms together, walking the elbows away from the crown. And then we bring the hands, bending at the elbows, right behind the neck. Exhale, we release, reaching back out through the crown. We press into the tops of the feet, roll up through table, curl the toes for the inhale. Exhale, hips up high. Feels real nice and heavy. Left foot comes to the midline, lift the right leg high, heel to hip on the inhale, opening the front body over to the right. Right toes reach over towards the left. Even weight in both hands, arms are long and strong. Exhale, we step the right foot up in between the hands, drop the back knee. We lift the chest. Maybe taking some gentle sway side to side. 
And then weight drops into the left hand, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling, belly button shines over towards the right thigh. Exhale, right hand replaces left as left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Now left hand replaces right, both hands frame right foot, hips lift up and back. Maybe toes stay straight towards the front of the mat this time. Maybe bow towards the body. Inhale, we roll right through. Drop the palms, we lift the back knee. Front foot reaches back to meet the left and now we'll face and up. Right foot comes to the midline. We lift the left leg high, heel to hip as we open front body over to the left. Exhale, we step it through, dropping the back knee, lifting the chest. Weight comes into the right hand as we lift left up to the ceiling. Now left hand replaces the right as we open right arm. Exhale, right hand replaces left as both hands frame the left foot, hips come up and over. Left leg straightens as we bow towards the body. Exhale, we roll right on through. Toes curl, hands frame the foot. So we lift the back knee, front foot draws back to meet the left, and we're in plank. Exhale, we drop the knees, arches together, and we send the heels, the hips back onto the heels. We sit up here nice and tall. You can, of course, bring in more of that arch work by curling the toes, sending the pinky all the way down to the earth. When we do that, we're not just dumping our weight, but instead lifting out of the pelvis. One last move today, both arms come out in front of us. Right arm drops down, left arm comes over the right, we hook at the elbows and drape both hands around the outside of the shoulders. Exhale, chin drops to chest, looking around, bringing the upper body. Crown shines down to the earth. Inhale, we will roll back up. Elbows come all the way up to the ceiling. Gaze lifts as we release the hands, fingertips up towards the sky, coming down by our hips. Take it to the other side. Those arms come out in front. Right arm over left this time, nice big hug. Chin drops towards the chest, coming around through the upper body. Inhale, rolling back up through, elbows reach up towards the ceiling, hands release, fingertips up and down wide at the sides. Coming to meet together in front of the pelvis, reaching thumbs up to the heart space. One last collective breath together. Big inhale, long exhale. Thank you for practicing with me today and for putting up with 
all the joys of our own practice. The coughing, the noises, the construction outside. You still showed up anyway, and I'm proud of you, so thank yourself for doing that. It's not an easy thing to do, and I will see you next time.